Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today is Sunday, which means that today is Tarot Day. Okay, last week I decided to put a little moral out there while I was getting my cards and this ruined stone. So I'm going to keep going with this, okay? So I'm going to tell you a little story as I start to shuffle my cards. So I'm going to start. You want me to start with these ones? Thank you so much and happy birthday to you too. <laughs> See how I talk to her? Happy birthday to you too. I don't even know if she has a birthday. I doubt it. But it's that acknowledgement that I respect her. Okay. So today I've got the little lovey dovey cards first. If you haven't seen these guys before, they are so cute. So as I connect with them, I'm going to start telling you a story about um, a movie that I watched this week. Okay. I want one card that represents those on the white loving energy side. Of the spiritual war one card that we need this week thank you please throw me out one card okay so the movie that I watched was called what happens in Vegas it stars Cameron Diaz and Ashton Kutcher now funny thing is I was on Netflix the other night and it came up like I had clicked it it came up it was big on the screen and I thought what I didn't do that so I let that one go as a coincidence. But then we have to look at what is not a coincidence is the very fact that two nights ago, sitting here in Brisbane, Australia, it was 7.30 at night, I turned on the TV and on the exact channel that I was on, guess what the next movie was? What Happens in Vegas? So it was like the universe was telling me, you have to watch this movie. So when we get messages like that, they can come in any way or form, correct? So, come on, one card please. So what happens in this movie? Ashton Kutcher is a totally different character to... Oh, just got my first card. Look, here he is. He's turned around. There's my first card, okay? So I'm going to put him down. So Ashton Kutcher in this movie is totally different. Now I'm going on to Louise Benton's cards, okay? He has got too much time on his hands where he doesn't want to succeed because it's like cushy. He feels cushy with, with the little world that he's created for himself. Then we've got Cameron Diaz who works 60 hour weeks for um, the Stock Exchange and she's so busy that she has to make plans to make plans. To fit things into her so busy schedule so they end up meeting in vegas they get drunk and they got married and then the next day they win three million dollars so the judge of their annulment says i'm not going to grant you a divorce silly boys and girls you've got to stay married for six months so in this six months we've got two people extremely different who have now got to compromise negotiate They've got to learn not only how to survive in this big world, but also to learn who they are at the end of the day. What are their passions? What are their interests, hobbies? What do they do that reflects in others? And what does others reflect in them? So in comes the friends. They've both got friends. They've got a male. Um, Ashton Kutcher's got a male friend and um, Cameron Diaz has got a female friend. So this is how we reflect. So you look at the characters that are the friends. The character of um, Cameron Diaz's friend, she works in a bar. She's very laid back. She says it as exactly as she sees it. So this is what Cameron Diaz aspires to be. Then you've got Ashton Kutcher's friend. He, <laughs> he actually has a line go and get your ex ex-wife <laughs> your future ex ex-wife so this is a guy who expects ashton kutcher to do what he does he hasn't got a girlfriend we don't really hear much about his job but he's obviously got money so he's affording to do stuff but he's not really involved in the storyline because his life really doesn't matter at the end of the day and that's why he's not really mentioned because we find out Tipper um, she works at the bar but this other guy 
we don't really know what he does okay so what's the moral of the story these two realize that they meant to be together they love each other so why do they start to love each other it's because they be being together brings out their best of who each of them are now is it fair to say that we need to be in a relationship for that to occur no and the line that I got this morning as my message which I wrote down and I'm look I've just got the card as well put that one down now I'm going to start shuffling these ones okay these are my deck thank you one card that represents what all of us on the right side of the spiritual war need for the next week okay the line that I wrote down which was a message that I got this morning it says we try to fit the mold of someone else's expectations so I'm going to read that again some of us not all of us okay we've tried to fit the mold of other people's expectations Cameron Diaz her boyfriend that she's got at the beginning he she's always trying to please him she's pleasing him she's she wants to to she feels that she needs love hang on just drop some cards her idea with this relationship is that she feels good if she's making him feel good so she's always about pleasing him okay she's all about pleasing him oh and I just got my card is that one card yes it is so here's my one card okay we're getting there guys um Ashton Kutcher on the other hand he's got these frivolous girlfriends that don't mean anything because at the end of the day he doesn't need somebody to make him feel good because hello he's already living <laughs> and surviving without working so he doesn't need that okay one stone please that represents what the whole world needs for next week um not the whole world just us on the right side of the spiritual wall please those of us in the loving white energetic universal loving energies please give me one stone please okay let's just see which one drops into my hand today oh it's that one that one oh okay so we've got this guy okay so now we've got our cards and our stone for today okay so the moral of this story goes we don't need to appease other people to add value or worth to our own existence if we truly know who we are at the end of the day that's all that matters because it's only us that can, can create our own in, um, securities self-value and ultimately self-worth okay so now that that's the message that i've been receiving for a few days now since i had to watch that movie the other night but here we go with the today's spread little lovey-dovey card first love would do small acts of kindness love would do small acts of kindness so this is where we reflect out of us if I am a decent kind loving person what am I doing to prove that to myself I am a generous kind loving person so that's where we can say okay this week I'm going to get out I'm going to get off my butt I'm going to go out and I'm going to do at least three random acts of kindness for people this week it could be opening a door or letting someone walk through a door first before me it might be picking up something that someone drops it may be just saying hey hope you have a nice day as you walk past somebody I took my daughter for a walk in the park yesterday and as we went past someone I, I like saying hope you have a good night just to have that little bit of interaction with another person as they walk past okay so now we go to the Louise Benton range beautiful artistry that she has on these cards the link is below if you do want a pack of her cards illumination look how much I've got to read today okay here we go our very existence and all that surrounds us is miraculous there is wonderment and magic in all things and the, this world is so much more than it appears to be 
At one essence is a spirit that connects us to the vastness of all that is, the eternal witness to all that arises and all that passes away. Love and reverence for our own existence and the existence of all life will waken us to the blessings of this experience as embodied humans and the opportunity it offers us to hone the skills of manifestation and creation. The more authentically and truthfully we choose to live, the more aligned we will become with the universal focus of creation. This alignment will then enable us to see through the veils of deception that have prevented us from expressing expressing our divine potential. How many lies and deceit have been out there in the last two years, guys? Come on. So this is where now we take reins, take the horse by the reins, and we say, charge on, baby. That's our message this week. Charge on, baby. Okay? Because... We are now in this opportunity where we're saying, who am I and what am I going to do to make this world better for me? Because as soon as we do it for ourselves, it reflects out of us. Like I was saying before about that movie where the friends, why why were the two friends in there, even in the first place? Because it's all about reflection, okay? By reclaiming our sovereignty we can embrace the truth of what we are oh my god and begin creating a future based on our dreams and desires for a better world oh my god use these cards to help ignite your divine memory and contemplate the miracle that is you now how true is that here i am talking about a movie where we've got two main characters who have no idea how to get out of the rut that they're in. But they're thrown together so they see that reflection. He's over here unemployed, he's got way too much time. She's over here employed with way not enough time. But they put them together and they see the the other side's perspective of where they want to meld together to become into beauty in the future. That's what we do with ourselves, guys. We don't have to do it with another person, okay? You sit there and you say, okay, what do I like doing? That's always, that's my cat meowing, by the way. Mary! <laughs> okay. Love would do small acts of kindness. Now, when I said before, go and do three random acts of kindness to other people. What do we do for ourselves, What acts of kindness are you going to do for you today? Huh. Because remember, if we're feeling good on the inside, it's going to reflect into our outside and then everybody starts feeling it. Oh my God, I'm feeling it. My eyes are watering. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep going with this one. My tarot for today is the Six of Swords. And we've still got the ruin stone. Oh my god, six of swords. <gasps> swords. Swords. You know, swords. I always think of fighting when I see the swords. Oh my gosh. Pentacles. Swords. Here we go. So we want the six. Okay. Okay. Here it is, just in case you want to have a read yourself. Six of swords. Okay. Six of swords. The meaning of the Six of Swords is quite literal. Moving out of stormy waters into calmer ones. Yay, team! If you have experienced difficult times, this card assures you that matters will improve and harmony will once more be restored. Bingo! As the Six of Swords in the boat demonstrate... Our experiences are part of us and travel with us, a reminder of the life lessons we have encountered. This card can also represent a physical journey, usually long or over water. So we've got to remember here, we are all on a journey, guys. Okay? The last two years has brought out either our best or our worst. I always say it brought out my best because it proved to me who I want to be after all this stuff ends. Okay? Who do you want to be now that the veil is separating? Everyone's learning the truth now, right? Okay. (laughs) Try this because it's more effective. That means the other thing didn't 
work. Bingo. Oh, I love it. I love that. Okay. Now, we've still got our little ruin stone. Here we go. He looks like a little weird pea. Okay. So let me find this one in my book. No, it's not you. Okay, now I've got a few that look like peas in my book. So let me just go through. Da, 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 da. No, it is this one here. See, because I've got, I've got that one, but it's this one. Okay, so let me just put it up so you see him next to it. Yep, that's definitely him. So it's this one here. Okay, it's called Woon You. Woon You. Woon You. Woon You. It means joy. Hello. We're coming into great times, guys. Okay. Woonjo, winning happiness. The symbol of inner personal happiness. This is what it's all about. Thank you for letting me watch that movie. You know, two people in that movie, they were so in their right. But at the end of the movie, oh, oh, it's so good. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Okay, that last five minutes. Oh, my God. And the song that they sing, it's just gorgeous. Okay. Um, the symbol of inner peace, personal happiness and good karma. Also, joy and contentment from career, personal life and family life. Okay, so face up. Let's have a look. A signal to pursue inner peace and joy through self-care. Now, isn't that funny that I just said small acts of kindness can be on us as well. Okay, so isn't it good how the card and the ruin are all connected? Okay. Steer away from ten tendency to rely on others. Now, that was in that movie that I watched. She was relying on her boyfriend. Ashton Kutcher's character was relying on his dad for income. And both of them took their own personal responsibility and self-accountability. And they said, you know what? I don't need to rely on you anymore. I'm going to start doing this for me. Boom! So not only have I got three different cards and a ruin stone, I've also got the movie again that proved it. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you so much for wanting me to watch that. Okay, thank you to me. Here I am about appreciating me now. Thank you to me for acknowledging the sign that I had to watch it. Okay, boom! Okay, last one. A problem may be about to successfully resolve. Whoa! So if you're waiting on news regarding a lawsuit, <laughs> let's go there. If you're waiting for job applications to come through, anything like that, this is the week it's all going to happen for us, guys. Okay? Put out your loving white energy, okay? Put it out there and say, I don't care how it comes to me. I don't need to control it. I have no expectations, but I know that tr I trust you that it's going to work out okay. Because that's what's happening this week. We do not have to fit the mold of other people's expectations. Okay? They can think whatever they like of us. At the end of the day, we're the only one that matters to ourselves. So go out there and rock on, guys, okay? Get out there and be the best version of you possible. Because all these cards, this way, and the stone, and the movie, they all say that we are coming back into us. Our true self is shining. Go out and make it happen, guys. Till next week. Bye.